Hey everyone, Red here, and today's build is for the Hag. Today's perks are as follows. Hex Devour Hope. Whenever a survivor is unhooked and the killer is at least 24 meters away, gain a stack. At 3 stacks, all survivors are exposed, and at 5 stacks, the killer can mori the survivors. Hex Undying. If Devour Hope gets broken, it will instead be transferred to this totem, keeping it in play for longer. Make your choice. When a survivor rescues another from the hook and the killer is at least 32 meters away, the survivor will become exposed for 60 seconds. Save the best for last. When the killer hits a non-obsession survivor, gain a token. Every token grants a 5% decrease on successful basic attack cooldown. This stacks up to 8 stacks at a 40% cooldown. And that's it for today's build breakdown. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. Alright, let's go ahead and try and eat some survivor guts. Alright, Auto Haven. One of my favorite setups. Let's go ahead and put a trap right out here, real quick. That way, when they run through the pallet, the trap triggers. It stops them from hopefully dropping said pallet, or they'll just jump back over. Either way works for me. I'm gonna pull one right here as well. When they round this corner, it'll actually pull them a little bit, which can be really nice. Hmm. Over here? I didn't see their gem being worked on. Yeah, there we go. I won't be in a long gate chase, but this really isn't too bad. Hey, what's going on, guys? How, uh, how's it hanging? Tag him real quick, just to let him know we mean business. We see another survivor over here, who will probably hide here in a second. Hi! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. That is a horrible mistake for you. This is going to be a great start, hopefully, to get into some devour stacks. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and place here. We're always looking to get a trap down if possible. She just came back over here, which is obvious. Uh, we'll go ahead and chase this for a second, just because she doesn't have anywhere. Trying to get in chase. There we go. I don't think I can get this before she drops down. There we go. Perfect. Oh my gosh, what are you doing, though? Let's wait a second. Oh, you guys went and finished that gen right away. Can I maybe do any pressure here? I could have hooked her right away, but I really thought they'd go for the save here. Let me go ahead and get... Maybe? Oh. Smart man. Or a woman. Whichever one it was. Hmm. hi -o. That slug right there will actually buy us a lot of time. I chased this the wrong way now that I look at it. Whoops. Was that life? That was life. They're going to pop a uh, totem over there, which is fine. And finish off that gem, which I didn't uh, do anything to. It was him that had done that. Feels bad. We'll chase here. She should turn back around. So that's one big mistake we made. That's fine, though. <laughs> she had to run away. <laughs> I didn't put any traps over there. We'll walk back over here. That's fine. Hi, ho You really want to be chased, but you don't really have much to go for. We're going to ignore her, of course. Let's move her maybe a little bit away here. No, I want to hook right away. Let's hook right away instead. I need to get traps out. We are chasing a little too much. It's not like I have slowdown, so chasing too much is uh, quite a bad thing. Hey, buddy. That is one of our tomes gone. That's why we have one dying. We'll break this. We got some value over here, maybe. 
Mm. Hey man, you got a dead turn? Nope. That's unfortunate. This will be our third stack, so we, we might be able to get it there, guys. As soon as Devour goes live, though, they're going to go on a frantic look for it. We're going to place one trap here, but I also want to place one over here. Kind of a little more hidden. Because they do seem to be watching where they're going. And I want to be able to stop that if possible. This is kind of more of a random trap. You know, the fact that we have, you know, the actual totem right here in check. And no one's been there yet. Crazy. This game will get going pretty interesting here soon. Hiya. I don't need to follow this one, but I guess it doesn't hurt me either way. Go ahead, we get our first hit here. She ran right through it. Hi, guys. She went back here, you can tell. Hey. Nice. That's going to feel real good here in a second. I believe this is her second hook as well. Hey, buddy. What's going on, man? You want to talk about it? I have a trap that's already over here. So if they don't see me place it, we might be in some uh, good luck here. Nah, it's still pretty obvious. I should have moved it more in the grass. No scratch marks there. They do need to be more careful now, though. I just want to get some traps out. There we go. She's going to run away. Uh, I want to move her away from going inside here. Ooh, they're both over here. Nope. Big brained. All right, come here. You're in you're in trouble. This game could be over. What's going on? Nice. I'll take it. That's just devour, man. You get to that exposed state, and everything just gets a lot scarier. We actually misplayed a lot here. I think we went on a few too many chases. Uh, we didn't hook her when we had the chance because I was kind of being greedy with make your choice. I was really hoping we'd get a lot more value out of that, and we just we just didn't, which is fine. Uh, next game, we won't make that same mistake, but we cleaned it up real well. That snowball potential that Hag has is just incredible. It really is. Something to be scared of, for sure. Yeah, I know. It's okay. It's all right, Fang. Relax. And we managed to get Ruthless, which I'm actually surprised. That, you know, that snowball came out of nowhere, so... We'll GG's that one up, and we'll, of course, we'll just go ahead and move on to the next game. Okay, Sanctum of Wrath. I can take it. Let's see what we can do this game. Now, I have to be careful of gen pressure, just to make sure. Let me go ahead and just get a trap down. I swamped down one of the add-ons for a bit faster placing. Survivor jump down there. Yeah, so we're actually gonna. I won't put one right here. Just in case they run up this way. We'll see if we can maybe pull them if they try and run up this. It might actually be a little too close in there. Alright. Try and get as many traps out as I can here. I should have looked around at the gents too. Two, three. The majority over there. It's not exactly a solid loop for me, but either way he gets hit. Sounds good for me. Oh my gosh, he messed that up horribly. That's a great start for us. In that sense. We want to make sure we can move him towards some of our traps over here. And yeah, we can go ahead and place him here. Go ahead, put one trap down at his feet. I want to get more traps, I think, over there. I think this is where you need to start setting up is around here instead. Let's get one trap there. Come back over here a little bit. It's probably going to be more of my hold up if I need to.
Get one in the middle of the shack here. That's all right. We're going to go ahead and lose that real quick. That's two gens down, but we get ourselves a nice little tag. Oh, nice dead hard. So unfortunate. Hi, you got to drop that now. I thought you were going to, like, you know, play through with it. That's a little different, though. All right, let's see if we can pick up. See if we get this to work. Uh, let's... Hmm. I can go over here. I don't really want to be on this side so much anymore. But we do have one stack with Devour. I believe these guys might be a group as well. It's pretty rare I get four players who are uh, PC. So typically that means I'm going with a group, which is totally okay with me. I might want to look how I'm going to play this game out. I'm going to need more traps over that way. Yeah, that's fine. Come over here. I just don't want them to break the three gen right away. If possible, that is. Okay. I got a lot of traps out, though. Let's head over back here, since we have Make Your Choice. And maybe... I think they might heal. There she is. Nice. Can't be doing that. That's too risky. And you were healing, which means you do not have the decisive strike now. That is great for me, horrible for you. I'm not going to place a trap anymore. Uh, like I said, I think these guys are on comms, which means they can basically just say, hey, there's a trap there. That, and if you're a competent survivor, you'll kind of realize you're going against Hag, and you won't make the same mistakes you normally would which would be just running over there and going for the save. So instead, we're going to kind of play it out a little differently. There we go. We got a nice little down here. We need to get back over there to our totem. There goes our make your choice. He did not go to Totem. I'm going to place a trap here just to make sure. Come on, Claudette. Let me see you real quick. Let me say hi. I'm going to need to get a player out here soon. There we go. Nice. We leave her on the ground for right now. We can come over here and get him picked up. Maybe look to get a lot of stacks of Devour here. Uh, let's actually go double basement. They're going to pick her up. Claudette's dead. Hey, buddy. What's going on, man? Uh, this is a maybe. I mean, it's uh, for sure. We'll go for the pickup right away. That we can get a player out of the game is very important. And we have basement right here, so why not? This is just how fast Tag can really turn a game around. This is why you normally want to bring, like, slow down overall. But, either way, it don't matter. Hag's snowball potential is massive. Especially with insta-down perks. I know she's up there, I heard her. That's why I put a trap down there. There we go. Clean it up. No problem. And we will go ahead and take our 4K. Nice and quick. Or at least, you know, the start went really by quick because they were on gents. But it was nice and quick once we start going. And that's really what it's about with Hag is actually just the snowball. No, he's around here. There he is, blood. Hey, buddy, come here. Do you want to go to the basement too? Yeah, yeah, you want to go to the basement, too. Why not? Why not get everyone in the basement? Doop, 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 doop. Not bad. I will take it. Yeah, this definitely came... You know, I think what we did early on was probably a mistake. It was going more over there. I probably should have just claimed this half of the map and just made it Hag City with my traps. 
at least while running, you know, no slowdowns. You can get a little more daring with it outside of it, but yeah. We'll go ahead, we'll call the GG's. Yeah, can't complain, man. That's just Hag in a nutshell, and that's what happens when Devour gets stacked, too. Make your choice, Devour. Either way, I always run Make Your Choice on Hag, but Devour just feels good. We didn't get any Moris out of it, which actually feels pretty bad. But alright, that's it for today's build. I hope you all enjoy it, and let me know what you think about when you try in your games. Much loves, and as always, I'm Red, and I'm signing off. Come on.